hello and welcome to another episode of Disney Movie Investigation. If this is your first time watching, welcome to the show. On each episode, we take a look at a movie that is featured on Disney+. Plus. On this episode, we are taking a look at the 1996 action picture, The Rock, starring Sean Connery and Nicolas Cage. And if you are enjoying these videos, please do hit that subscribe button. That way you will be notified with each new video. But for now, sit back and relax and enjoy this episode of Disney Movie Investigation. So like I said, today we're covering The Rock. And this movie was released on June 7th, 1996, and it was directed by Michael Bay. The screenplay is was written by David Weisenberg, Douglas Cook, and Mark Rosner. The production companies were Hollywood Pictures and a collaboration with Don Simpson and Jerry Bruckheimer Productions. This was distributed by Buena Vista Pictures Distribution, Walt Disney's distribution company. The budget for this movie was $75 million, with a box office return of $335.1 million. So it did rather well. But let's take a look at the production. So a spec script of the movie was written by David Weisenberg and Douglas Cook, but this was rewritten several times with screenwriters being brought in, including Quentin Tarantino and Jonathan Helsley. Once Sean Connery was cast, the writing team of Dick Clement and Ian LaFrenz was also brought in at in at was also brought in at Connery's request to rewrite his lines. Most of the film was shot at Alcatraz Island, but because it is a national park, the film had to be shot while the park remained open to the public. A, also in terms of shooting, a scene where the FBI director was thrown off the balcony of a hotel was shot at the Fairmont Hotel in San Francisco. The hotel was still operating at the time of filming, so this led to calls from concerned guests where they saw a man being thrown off the balcony. In terms of casting notes, originally Arnold Schwarzenegger was offered the lead of Godspell, or Goodspeed, uh, but he turned it down because he did not like the script. And during filming, tensions were apparent between Michael Bay and Disney executives, but Bay has told a story that one time Connery accompanied Bay to a meeting with executives, and Connery spoke up telling them to leave Bay alone as he was doing a good job. So let's take a look at the cast. So we have Sean Connery, who plays Captain John Patrick Mason, Nicholas Cage, who plays Dr. Stanley Goodspeed, Ed Harris plays General Frank Hummel, John Spencer plays FBI Director Jim Warmack, and David Morris plays Major Tom Baxter. So in terms of the plot, a group of renegade Marine commandos seizes a stockpile of chemical weapons and takes over Alcatraz, with tourists as hostages. Their leader is a former highly decorated general who demands $100 million to be paid in ransom as restitution to the families of Marines who died in covert operations and were thereby, thereby denied compensation. Otherwise, he is threatening to launch 15 rockets carrying deadly nerve gas, in, nerve gas into the San Francisco Bay Area. An elite team of SEAL, um, SEAL soldiers along with support from FBI chemical warfare expert and a former Alcatraz escapee, is assembled to penetrate the terrorist defenses on Alcatraz and neutralize the rocket threat before time runs out. So in terms of trivia for this movie, uh, there wasn't a whole lot, but um, there was a bit of controversy, as in the United Kingdom, uh, DVD released uh, several of the... DVD, in the DVD released, uh, several of the more violent moments were cut um, for censorship, Examples of this included Connery throwing a knife at someone's throat and several gunshot scenes were cut. Also, this there was a bit of controversy after the movie came out as a scene from the movie was actually a basis for an incorrect and false descriptions of Iraqi chemical weapons programs. In September 2002, MI6 Chief Sir Richard Dearlove said that the agency had received information from a source that said Iraq was stepping up their productions from uh, production of chemical weapons. The source said that they had direct access and claimed senior staff were stepping up production that would result in we weapons that were similar to anthrax. Questions were raised about the agent's claim as the descriptions were strikingly similar to a scene in the movie uh, The Rock 
which ultimately gave it away was that the descriptions with the weapons were be, were going to be carried in glass beads, which actually is scientifically inaccurate and led to the false um, false reports. In February of 2003, uh, MI6 concluded that their source had been lying to them over a period of several months. So a bit of foolhardiness on there. Uh, so would I recommend this movie? Um, I think this is a great action movie. It does have some problems, but if you're looking for an action movie with a simple plot, I think this is a great one. Um, I like that the story has an emotional arc and that the characters have motivation for what they're doing. Uh, for example, the character of Frank Hummel uh, could have easily been a stereotypical foreign bad guy, but instead they went with a character who has an emotional journey and feel that he is at the end of his rope and has no choice but to take the actions that he does. Um, and I think that's a, where a lot of audience members can relate to this. Um, I think the action scenes are good. I really like the car, the car chase in San Francisco. I thought it was really creative. Uh, the only downside is I wish there was more of an emotional character arc for the Nicolas Cage character Goodspeed. Um, he seems to only really be there for the ride and there's really nothing to his uh, character development. Um, but overall, I think it's a great uh, Friday night action flick. Uh, definitely one worth checking out. Uh, so thank you for joining us here on Disney Movie Investigation. I would invite you to please leave a comment below on what you think of the movie The Rock. Uh, if you liked it, let us know. If you hated it, please let us know as well. Uh, so for our next uh, episode of Disney Movie Investigation, we are taking a look at a uh, rarity of a Disney movie in the 1980s thriller as we look at An Innocent Man starring Tom Selleck. So until next time, I hope you have a magical day and we will see you real soon.